Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to smoke some beef short ribs. I got this cut of meat from Sam's Club. They were on sale for $3.02 a pound, as you can see over here, so I got an amazing deal on them. They are choice, so what we're gonna use for our seasoning is some sea salt, some coarse black pepper, and then some Jack Daniels beef rub. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is trim all the fat off of this off of this short rib. And the reason why we're doing this is because there's already a lot of fat and some good marbling within the meat that this is not even needed. A lot of this fat won't even render down. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get all this fat cleaned up. Um, and then another thing that you wanna note when cleaning up these short ribs is once you remove this fat underneath, as you can see, there's some silver skin. So we wanna remove the silver skin as well. Um, there are going to be points where the fat kind of like, uh, goes inside of the meat and you'll find yourself digging into it. You want to prevent that. Um, you want to prevent as little digging as possible. All right. So over here, as you can see, we have all the fat removed from the top and the bottom right corner. Well, let's take a look at the top of the top. You can see all the fat is removed. Um, we have some nice marbling, but here in this bottom right corner, this was all fat. We didn't want to chunk this thing out, so we went ahead and we just kept it. Um, this piece could be avoided whenever you're going to eat. Um, another thing I want to mention is a lot of people like to remove the membrane. I like to keep the membrane. I will remove that little piece of fat off at the top, but this is going to help keep our bones intact. So that way when we slice these up and serve them, we're not going to have to worry about the meat falling off the bone. This is going to keep everything intact and it's gonna allow for a better presentation. And we are not gonna worry about seasoning this side. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our seasoning. So first we have some sea salt. You could use some kosher salt. Stay away from that iodized salt. That iodized salt is gonna make it super salty and messes up the flavor kind of. So I'm using some sea salt right here. We're gonna make sure we get this nice and coated um, this is a very thick cut of meat, so be very generous with the seasonings. You know, don't don't be scared. There's also a lot of fat, so a lot of your seasoning is going to melt off. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this seasoned up on all sides. Just adding the sea salt everywhere, as you can see. Wherever there's meat, you want to go ahead and make sure you can put that put that that seasoning on it. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some of that that coarse ground, that coarse grind black pepper. So I'm just, as you can see again, same thing. Trying to keep my seasonings very simple. Um, I like the barbecue beef rub, I've had it before. So that's why I wanted to add it to these short ribs. You could leave it right here and stop, which is salt and black pepper, or you could also add some garlic powder, some onion powder if you would like but I just like it very plain. Um, so I'm just adding some, some coarse grind black pepper to all sides as well. And look at that, you see all that fat in there? That fat is, is if you were to cut that out, it, it would kind of mess up your beef ribs. So we're just gonna let it do its thing whenever it cooks. And we're gonna try to let it render as much as possible. So as you see, we have a nice coat. Now we're gonna come back with the Jack Daniels beef rub and we're gonna get this thoroughly coated on the top. So as you notice, I started with the salt. Salt is important because the salt is what helps it to give it that, that nice smoke ring. Um, and I'm also not using a binder. I've had issues in the past where I've used the binder and I wasn't able to get my smoke ring. So as you'll see later in the end, I have a nice smoke ring with, with these short ribs, um, starting off with the layer of salt first and then adding the black pepper and then finally um, the beef rub. All right, so this thing is almost coated up. So we'll go ahead and we'll repeat the same to the other to the other rack of short ribs and then we'll place it on the smoker. All right, so here it is. We have it we have our smoker set to 275 degrees. I'm using a mixture of hickory, mesquite, and pecan pellets and I'm putting these things bone side down. Once I put these in here, I'm just going to let them cook. So this is about three and a half hours later 
into the cook. I'm just coming out to check on them real quick to make sure they're not drying up and to make sure my crust and my bark is starting to set on the top. As you can see, everything is looking fine. These things cooked a lot faster than I was expecting. And as you can see that pullback on there, I got some really amazing pullback. Um, looks like we're gonna be eating these short ribs a lot sooner than I thought. All right, so now we are at the six hour mark into the cook. So right now I'm just going to check for tenderness. As you can see, these are no wrap. And the reason why I didn't wrap them is because I wanted to get them to this color right here. Um, I like that dark mahogany color um, versus that, that lighter pinkish color. So this is, this is what we're looking for right here when cooking these. I got my pullback, now I'm just probing and checking for uh, for tenderness, these are these are these are pretty tender at at this moment and at this point of time in the cook. But there is a little bit of give. Some spots are a little hotter than others. As you can see, there was one ninety six. We're looking for at least two hundred, um, or for the probe to slide all the way through. So everything is looking good at this point. Um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and allow it to cook for a little, just thirty more minutes. So that way, you know we could get a little more tender. All right, so total cook time, six and a half hours, and we are lifting up the lid, and we're just gonna go ahead and probe at this point. I don't even care about the temperature. As you can see, my thermometer is sliding in like nothing. So what you're looking for is your probe to go in like hot butter, and it's doing exactly that. As you can see, I'm, I'm not even applying any force and it is just sliding right through. So we're gonna go ahead and, and get these things pulled off, bring them inside, and we'll wrap them up and let them cool. All right, so I have some aluminum foil, just gonna quickly wrap these. Um, I do have a hole in the bottom of this. I'm just, I was going for a loose wrap, but because I, I punctured the bottom of this piece, I didn't wanna let it, let it go to waste. So I'm gonna rip off another piece and just wrap that bottom to prevent any juices from seeping through the bottom. Um, and we're gonna wrap up both of these racks and then place them inside the cooler and we'll let those sit for about an hour. Here it's going into the cooler as you can see. All right, I'm sorry I didn't get these sliced up in front of you guys, but as you can see, they are really juicy. And this is the final product right here. All sliced up, beautiful pink smoke ring, nice crust, nice bark on the top. As you can see, that membrane helped to keep everything um, stuck together and prevented it from falling off the bone. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.